can sing and dance and we don't need pants See, we're just like you With our regular jobs, just with low going off See, we're just like you Yes, we graduate from Harvard Like ahead of my class But if they test the right I run that press There's no strings attached and there's no head of mine We all have our good days and our bad days. The best day of my life was when the whole fourth grade started using my catchphrase, Sketch McGowza! <laughs> well, today, it was shaping up to be the best day of Jimmy's life. How much longer do I have to keep this dumb thing on my nose? Eh, uh, don't worry about how much longer, Black. Worry about the horror of your clogged pores when you're my age if you don't clean them regularly, Black. Well, can I take it off now? Eh, uh, yeah, all right, fine, now. <sighs> How's it work? Um, gotta go. What? There you go. Jim. Jim, walk with me. Guess what my colleagues back at the network thought of today's script? What? Nothing, they didn't get it. Well, you do need to know the whole alphabet to understand the jokes. No, they didn't get it, Jim. It wasn't received. They never got it. It wasn't delivered, OK? Any idea why? You look pretty today. OK, I can't, I can't do this today. My boss, the man who mentored me, went into rehab today. And uh, it's these kind of things that are going to keep me from getting his job. Bender, I've been looking for you. Look. I've got rat traps to set, I've got knives to sharpen, and these cupcakes are not going to decorate themselves. You know what, Jack, I got scripts to deliver and lunches to hand out. I can't do this right now. OK. I guess my gun club can eat the cupcakes plain. Great. Great. Oh, damn it, who eats cupcakes plain? I don't think you understand how important this is. In one hour, my gun club is voting for a new president. And they're not going to vote for a man with subpar dessert treats. Or with Clem Vernon in the running. I mean, I've tasted the man's petty fours. They are heaven. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Hey, Warren. Actually, I'm not doing yeah, too good. Yeah, good, because I need you to run me a little errand. I want you to scoot over to my house, all right? Uh, in the backyard, you're going to find a pile of dog crap. Now, when you get there... You I... want me to clean up dog crap off your lawn? No, no, of course not. I want you to take it to the veterinarian to be analyzed. I want to see if it's from Corey Feldman's dog. They can test for that? No, the former child star is my neighbor. And in addition to making second-rate movies and getting in trouble with the law, I suspect he's been having his dog mess up my lawn. So I fed the mutt some raspberries. And if I can find traces of it in his gift, I shall put them in a paper bag, light it on fire, and shove it down Corey Feldman's throat. You know, as fun as that sounds, Warren, I don't have a car. All right, I tell you what, um, if you're careful, <clears throat> you can take my Mercedes, Betsy. You named your car? Yes, in tribute to the woman with whom I lost my virginity. And as I recall, I also paid too much for her. Jimmy. Finish this sentence for me. The videotape that was supposed to be in post-production two hours ago is? I don't know. Here's one for you. My dad's always asking me mean and condescending questions because... Because you never seem to do your job right. See, it's easy, isn't it? Where's the tape? I'd be lying if I said anything at all. You've really got to change your attitude, OK? Let me tell you a little story. When I was on Donnie and Marie, there was a kid who started working there as a production assistant. Worked his butt off every single day, never complained, not once. Do you know who that man is today? Who? The black guy on Becker. You know what, Dad? I've had a really rough day. Everybody's ordering me you know, around. You know, what? you know what? I don't care. No, I'm just trying to explain. No, 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 no. You're not listening. I don't care. Here's what I do care about. Tapes getting to places, lunches getting to people, complainers getting back to work, delivering the tapes and the lunches to the people and the places. See, that's your job. You're the gopher. Gopher? I thought I was the gopher. Are we getting a new gopher? Uh. Oh, God. I have to call my agent. I just bought a Porsche. Hey, thanks for coming with me, Greg. Eh, no problem. You know, it's a couple hours before they shoot my scene, and uh, you seem like you're in a bad mood. It's because everybody treats me like dirt, including my own dad. And the annoying thing is, I'm really trying here. 
And this is not like the 12 years of public school where I said I was trying. Clearly, I wasn't. Oh, come on. Is it worse than the fourth grade when the toilet seat fell on your penis? <laughs> it still hurts to think about that, Greg. <laughs> oh, remember you had to show it to Miss Weiss, the school nurse, and she was like 100 years old? <laughs> and then she tried to touch it with one of those popsicle stick things? <laughs> Enough, Greg. Oh, God, could it possibly be worse than the eighth grade? Oh, when your wrestling coach invited you over to his house, and then when you got there, <laughs> he tried to touch your penis with one of those popsicle stick things. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for those memories, Greg. <laughs> Wait here, buddy. I'll just be a sec. You know, it's funny. My job usually involves taking crap, but today it involves taking crap to the lab. Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, Hi. Oh, my God. Oh my God, I, I, I am so sorry. It's okay, it's all right, it's a, it's a, calm down. I really don't have a good explanation for being here. You really don't need one. <laughs> um. Oh, right. Turn around. Right. I've never done anything like this before, but I, I pass by here on my way to school every day. I go to St. Barnabas. Oh, you're in high school? Yeah, I was on my way there today and I thought, is this really how I want to spend my 18th birthday? Happy birthday! Thanks. It was so hot out, I thought it would be wild to skinny dip in a neighbor's pool. I guess it was just some kind of fantasy, but you probably wouldn't understand that. <clears throat> Oh, I might. Wow. This is your house? Yeah, it's one of them. So, you're Warren DeMontague? Yes, I am. I'm Warren DeMontague. That's me. I'm Amy. It's nice to meet you, Warren. Hey, Jimmy! Come on, man! Ugh, what is taking so long. Why do you have all these pictures of a monkey puppet? His name is Enrico, and he lives in Ecuador, and I sponsor him. Can I get you something to eat or drink? Wine, beer, cocktail shots, rum cake? I, I don't usually drink, but as long as I'm being naughty, I'll have a double vodka rocks with a splash of tonic and a twist. <laughs> okay, uh, vodka. Let's see where, where, where do I, where do I keep the vodka? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Boy, am I gonna have a lot to confess on Saturday. Well, here's hoping. A camcorder. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm an amateur filmmaker. You know, it's fun to just videotape yourself doing crazy things. Mmm, <laughs> oh, mommy, mommy, baby Warren's a dirty little monkey. No, no, no. <laughs> I think it's time I had to breastfeed. Mm. That's another good thing. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, you'll get your money, but for that kind of scratch, I want to spank you. <laughs> it's a video letter from Enrico. I like to see where my dollars are going. Since you like making videos, I've always wanted to make a movie. Are you crying? Is everything all right? Yeah, what could possibly be wrong? <laughs> oh, Jimmy, what took you so long? Ah! Ah! Hey, wait a minute, you're Corey Feldman! 
I thought you were a stuffed animal. I thought you were in rehab. No, that was Corey Haim. And what did I say? Never mind. Oh, Corey Feldman, I have seen all of your movies. I'm a really big fan. Since when did you become a car thief? No, I'm not a car thief. I just did this because I want to piss off the Montague, all right? I wanted to move it a couple blocks. That's it. Oh, uh, yeah. You former child stars, you always got an excuse. I don't see Ron Howard stealing no cars. Yeah, well, you know what? Ron Howard isn't neighbors with the Montague. Let me tell you something. This guy is the worst neighbor anybody could ever have, all right? Mm. Every time I have a party, he goes and calls the police. Every time the police come, he calls the Inquirer. Every time the Inquirer writes a story about me, he sends it to my mom. <laughs> Oh, great! Oh, man, this is bad. You're in a stolen car that's filled with uh, open liquor bottles and uh, puppet porn. Puppet porn? Oh, no. I cannot get caught with puppet porn again. Well, yeah, well, there's also the small matter of the kidnapping. Uh, but look at the bright side. Maybe you'll make the news. I don't want any press. I'm gonna ditch these guys. Uh, oh, oh, and I thought Bordello of Blood was a bad choice on your part. So if life hands you a lemon, you can always make lemonade blast. <laughs> yeah, speaking of squeezing a bit of fruit, do you hear who's blackmailing Kendrick, the hairdresser? Cut! Uh, Warren, nobody wants to hear your gossip right now. It's that buff publicist, isn't it? Not even close. All right, give me initials. Hey, everyone, got a big announcement. I just came back from my gun club. Cupcakes were a big hit, and you are looking at the next Vice President. Quick, turn on the news. That stupid psycho Warren is in a police chase. Unbelievable. I knew he was unstable. I knew that he was going to embarrass us with his drinking and his whoring. I'm and right his... here. Oh, Warren, you're standing right there. Oh, thank God you're OK. I was worried about you. No, oh, that's artfully done, Allison. You know, you turn faster than a young girl at Wellesley. Uh, Warren, this does look like your car. News 6 has just learned that the car being chased belongs to puppet actor Warren DeMontague. Betsy? DeMontague is better known as Professor Ape on Sweet Uncle Junction, a low-rated children's television program. Low blow that guy. Gil, your crackhead old son has kidnapped my Betsy! What are you talking about? I let him borrow the car so he could run his errands, and see, this is what I get for being a nice guy. Oh, my God, that's Jimmy? Yes! Wow, Vice President. Congratulations, Jack. I mean, come on, it's only polite. Would you shut up about your cousin poking gun club? Acknowledge the fact that there are other people in crisis. I mean, I just had that car detailed. Oh, this can't be happening. Oh, this is nuts. I never thought of Jimmy as the outlaw type, you know, wild and crazy and dangerous. Yeah, you get yourself all turned on, Allison, because that's a big help. Now, why don't we flip over to America's Most Wanted, see if we can find a serial killer to take you all the way home. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 Jimmy, what are you doing? What's happened to you? That's it. All right, what do I do? Uh, does he have a cell phone blind? Yes. Yes, he does. Oh, for God's sakes, Jimmy, what have you gotten yourself into? You look so sexy. You know what feels sexy? <sighs> You're gonna give me the tape after this, right? Someone wants to talk to you. No, 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 don't, 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 hello? Hello, Jimmy? Jimmy, are you okay? This is, you know, I'm right in the middle of something, so. Son, you are throwing your life away. It's too tight. Oh, it hurts, I can't move. Help me. Who was that? Jim, hello? Hello? Oh, dear God, I think he's holding some poor girl hostage. I wonder what he's making her do. Would somebody please hose her down? That's it? Yeah. That's it? Now meow like a cat. Meow. Meow. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, you're a donkey. I'm done. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's, you know, it's more of a mule. Now I want you to say, hi, Corey. Hi, Corey. I'm sorry for being such a bad neighbor. And if I call the police on you again, this tape will go straight to the tabloids. What? Hey, whoa. 
Where you, hey, where are you, where, where, where are you going? Corey Feldman sent me. Corey Feldman? Oh, you mean this was a setup? No, no, no. I really am a horny Catholic schoolgirl who just happened to be skinny dipping in your pool on my 18th birthday. Once again, betrayed by porn. Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, the joke is on you. Because <laughs> I am not Warren de Montague. <laughs> Can I call you? Or you could call me. I mean, you know, I'm a modern guy. He's continuing westbound now on the 101 freeway traveling about nine. Oh my god. I think I've lost the ability to blink. He seemed like such a good boy. Such clean pores, Blair. I don't understand it. Did anyone notice him acting, you know, strange? Well, he did seem a little miffed when I asked him to decorate my cupcakes. He was annoyed today when I asked him where the scripts were. Yeah, he seemed fine when I asked him to clean dog crap off my lawn. You asked him to do that? Sure. What were you thinking? That I didn't want to do it. That's horrible. It's probably what made him go all bad boy. That's why he came to me before. He came to me for help, and you know what I told him? I don't care. I actually use those words. I don't care. Worst thing a father can say to his son. Oh, no, trust me. The worst thing a father can say to his son is, hey, son, it's the summer of love. You want to watch me and this hippie chick get it on? Hey, look, I just passed the rib shack up the street. Hey, is anybody else hungry? Boy, uh, I, I got to make this right. Uh, I've put on a false face long enough. The worst thing that a father can say is, monkey boy, monkey boy, stupid, stupid monkey boy. <laughs> <laughs> This is nuts. Come on, man. You got so much to live for. Like what? Yeah, well, for one thing, you know, there might be a Goonies part two. Will you stop with the freaking movies already? Jeez, all I wanted all my life is just to be thought of as a normal person. I am a normal person. And all I want is to have a little love and happiness and maybe spread a little joy throughout the world. You mean like your character Jesse in Rock and Roll High School Forever? Has anybody ever told you that you have an incredibly annoying tendency to hyperfocus? Excuse me, but somebody kidnapped me before I could take my riddling today. <laughs> Hang on, Jimmy. Daddy's coming. I hope he gets away. I, it's great seeing people stick it to authority. Yeah, so remember that the next time you give me an acting note. Warren, sober up is not an acting note. Has anybody seen Greg? What, what the? Jimmy! Oh, my God! You... Oh, you... So you didn't steal the car. Can't you do anything right? You little bastard! What have you done with my bets, eh? Oh, and uh, what did the veterinarian say? Daddy's coming, Jimmy. Daddy's coming. Oh, my God. There's a guy in the middle of the road. Stop! Daddy's here! He's not moving. Well, uh, you better go around him. Jimmy! No. I am tired of taking crap from people. I'm driving straight. Corey, I have never seen this side of you. No! Hey, that's my boss. Hi, Mr. Bear. <laughs> I can't believe you chickened out. What was I supposed to do? Hit the guy? Hey, hey, it's my son. I know things seem a little grim right now, but I am not going to let anything bad happen to you. I want you to know I, I care about you more than anything on Earth. You're my special boy. Michael Jackson used to tell me the same thing. Oh. Look, I know sometimes it seems that the whole world is against you, and no one appreciates all your hard work. But you listen to me. I'm proud of you. I'm your biggest fan. And I don't think I've ever said this. But I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, I've needed to hear that for so long. Oh, Quarry, if you're going to cry, then, you know, I'm going to cry. No. <laughs> don't, Greg. Run. Be free, little bunny. Oh, I, love you. I will always remember our time together. 
I love this boy! I love this boy! I love this... Jimmy, what the hell are you doing? Run! Run! You okay? Yeah, I'm more than okay. I heard everything you said. I meant every word of it. Did you get the tape over the post? Oh, uh, yeah. I... Run. Run! Hey, Jimmy! Oh, you are never gonna guess who I got kidnapped by today! Hey, that's Corey Haim. Corey Feldman! What did I say? Man, I love you! I love you, man! I love you, God. Hey, what are you doing? Get your, get your hands up! Ow! So what could have been Jimmy's worst day turned out to be his best. Not just because he got to see that hot girl in her underwear, but because he finally got to see how much his father really does care about him. And me, I got to have a cool adventure in a stolen car with a goonie. <laughs> oh, and as far as Warren was concerned, Corey Feldman finally got what he deserved. And incidentally, Jimmy's worst day did come the following Tuesday, when my new pal Corey gave me a videotape and I brought it to work. <laughs> All right, listen, you're just gonna wait here, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Okay. You should probably stop before you get out. No, I'm just gonna do a roll. See ya! You're a stuffed animal. I thought you were in rehab. I thought you were a stuffed animal. And I thought you were in rehab. What's my line? I forget your line there, buddy. Huh? Uh, huh? I dropped the nose! I dropped the nose! Oh my god, my glasses! My glasses! That's all the comedy I have for today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>